Welcome to the University of Melbourne School of Magic. I'm Professor Stuckey and I'll be your master of the dark arts of combinatorics. Combinatorics, or as it's more commonly known in the mundane world, discrete optimization, is the art of solving impossible problems. So these problems are considered impossible by many, even many of those in the School of Magic, because the difficulty of solving the problem grows exponentially as the size grows. But why would you enter a School of Magic if you didn't want to do impossible things? So combinatorial problems appear everywhere in the world. They range from the very obscure, like how many angels can dance on the head of the pin, assuming each angel dances in a one micron sphere and none of those spheres overlap, to the very practical, like how to route hundreds of hours every day so that thousands of letters are delivered to where they're meant to go. Solving these problems is so hard that some people spend an entire lifetime just solving one such problem. For example, Professor Trick, who spent a lifetime becoming a master of the dark arts of scheduling Quidditch tournaments. Now, how are we going to teach you to solve many such problems? The secret is this. Dragons. So we're going to enlist the help of dragons. So dragons are beasts of incredible power and unsurpassed knowledge and amazing abilities. And with the help of dragons, we'll be able to solve problems which were out of reach of mere wizards such as ourselves. But talking to dragons is not easy. When we would ask a human to solve a problem, we would give them a recipe, a set of instructions telling them how to do that problem step by step. But dragons cannot be commanded. Instead, we have to be able to express our problem to the dragon and let it work out how to best solve the problem using its own abilities. But in order to do that, we're going to have to think like dragons. And that is going to be a big shift in the way we talk about things. Now, we could learn just how to talk to one individual dragon. That in itself is a lifetime's accomplishment. But dragons are not alike. For some dragons, a problem may be easy and another one very hard. So learning to talk to one dragon is a lot of hard work and it may not help us solve the problems we're actually interested in. So in this course, we're going to learn how to talk to many dragons. And the way we're going to do that is using the language Minizink. Minizink is a language understood by many dragons and it'll allow us to write down our problem once and then in fact ask many dragons to tackle the same problem. But Having a language which allows us to talk to many dragons is not enough. We still have to learn to think about problems as dragons do in order to express them correctly. And in order to do this, we're going to have to invoke another important magical principle, a principle that you'll see over many of your courses here in the School of Magic, and that is the principle of... True Names. When you know the true name of an object, then you gain power over it. In this course, we're going to learn the true names of combinatorial substructures. Combinatorial substructures which occur frequently across many discrete optimization problems. And indeed, recognizing, revealing the combinatorial substructure of a problem by finding the true names involved will allow you to solve problems much, much more difficult than you could solve without that recognition. We will learn to recognize and use true names like all deferent and cumulative. This is going to be one of the hardest courses you ever take because you're going to learn to think in a new way. Working with dragons is terrifying and many times very frustrating. I hope you'll also find it ultimately very rewarding because you'll be able to solve problems that without their help, you have no chance of solving. So welcome to modeling for discrete optimization, or as it's more commonly known here in the School of Magic, Dragon Speech 101.